Hey guys, it's Mr. Cram. I'm all ready to go. Chapter 2. Now, chapter 2 is a little bit shorter, okay? That's okay. Um, make sure you're comfortable. All right, maybe doodling like I suggested last time. It's a quick chapter, but it's a good one. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to read it. I'm comfortable. I'm in my uh, usual read aloud spot. Uh, okay, here we go. This one's called uh, The Marvelous Plan. All right. Oh, real quick, just bring it back. I uh, remember uh, George, he's home alone with Grandma, right? Dad's a farmer. Uh, he's off doing his farmer thing. Uh, Mom is at the grocery store. And uh, George is just stuck with Grandma. And Grandma turns out a little bit evil. Or so we think, right? She uh, had a very strange interaction with George. Where I think she scared him quite a bit. All right. So George now has retreated to the kitchen. George sat himself down at the table in the kitchen. He was shaking a little. Oh, how he hated Grandma. He really hated that horrid old witchy woman. And all of a sudden, he had a tremendous urge to do something about it. Something whopping, something absolutely terrific, a real shocker, a sort of explosion. He wanted to blow away that witchy smell that hung about her in the next room. He may have been only eight years old, but he was a brave little boy. He was ready to take this old woman on. I'm not going to be frightened by her, he said softly to himself, but he was frightened. And that's why he wanted suddenly to explode her away. Well, not quite away. But he did want to shake the old woman up a bit. Very well then. What should it be, this whopping, terrific, exploding shocker for Grandma? He would have liked to put a firecracker under her chair. But he didn't have one. He would have liked to put a long green snake down the back of her dress. But he didn't have a long green snake. He would have liked to put six big black rats in the room with her and lock the door. But he didn't have six big black rats. As George sat there pondering this interesting problem, his eye fell upon the bottle of Grandma's brown medicine standing on the sideboard. Now, this is George pondering all of his things. Rotten stuff, this medicine seemed to be four times a day. A large spoonful of it was shoveled into her mouth, and it didn't do her the slightest bit of good. She was always just as horrid after she had it as uh, she'd been before. The whole point of medicine, surely, was to make a person better. If it didn't do that, then it was quite useless. Oh, thought George suddenly, aha! Ho oh, hum, I know exactly what I'll do. I shall make her a new medicine. One that is so strong and so fierce and so fantastic it will either cure her completely or blow off the top of her head. I'll make her a magic medicine, a medicine no doctor in the world has ever made before. George looked at the kitchen clock. It said five past ten. There was nearly an hour left before Grandma's next dose was due at eleven. Here we go then, cried George, jumping up from the table. A magic medicine it shall be. So give me a bug and a jumping flea, and give me two snails and lizards, three, and a slimy squealer from the sea, and the poisonous sting of a bumblebee, and the juice from the fruit of the jujube tree, and a powdered bone of a wombat's knee, and one hundred other things as well, each with a rather nasty smell. I'll stir them up, I'll boil them long, a mixture tough, a mixture strong, and then, hi-ho, down it goes, a nice big spoonful. Hold your nose. Just gulp it down and have no fear. How do you like it, Granny dear? Will she go pop? Will she explode? Will she go flying down the road? Will she go poof and a puff of smoke? Start fizzling like a can of Coke? Well, who knows? Not I. Let's wait and see. I'm glad it's neither you nor me. Oh, Grandma, if you only knew what I've got.
in store for you. Now, that is actually the end of that chapter, and it brings us to uh, this one. It's uh, George begins to make his marvelous medicine. So it was a quick read, but it's good. George has a plan, right? That's what's fun about this book. Uh, there's a bad guy, the grandma. Like I said, in Rolled Dolls books, the bad guy always gets what's coming to them. And so uh, whatever, whatever this medicine is he's going to make, I think it's going to be very special. And I'll read the next chapter uh, tomorrow. Now, in the interim, go enjoy your uh, somewhat rainy Saturday. Okay. I'll look forward to hanging out with you guys tomorrow.